What's up everybody? Now you may have just seen Sailing and Such just released his last video on yakking and packing. Or is it packing while you're yakking? Anyways, it was a video about carrying, uh, concealed carrying on your kayak. And so he was talking about, you know, maybe there'd be a way that a person could mount a uh, concealed carry gun, maybe up under the uh, whole part of here of the, of the kayak, or um, some other places. So there's two different ways that I found that would be great if you were going to carry a gun inside your kayak. Two different places I found that would be good to mount it. And here's how we'll do it. Now some of you may have seen these uh, magnet uh, mounts and there's many different names for them and there's just a couple different versions and you can pretty much pick them up anywhere like on eBay or maybe on Amazon. And they got some pretty strong magnets inside here. It's encased in uh, some type of plastic so that way it doesn't scratch up the slide or the slide finish on your gun. And this is what we're actually going to use to mount up under the kayak in two different places. Now the first place that I'm going to mount it up, I'm just going to use a strap because I actually don't want to keep this in that area. And then the second way we're going to mount it, I'm actually going to use some bolts that uh, I'm going to pin it on there temporary. Now it's always important that you use aluminum bolts or screws on your kayak so that way you know, you're not going to end up uh, having them rust out on you or you may want to end up using rivets. Now I don't have any rivets so we're just going to use some bolts right now just to kind of show you how this works and then in the near future I'll get me some either some rivets or some aluminum screws. Now depending on what type of kayak you have and this is an Ascend D10 so it's actually quite broad uh, I believe it's about 32 inches across and so depending on what kind of kayak you have uh, it's really going to make a difference on how much room you have uh, underneath here. Now this has a humongous cockpit and so it allows plenty of leg room here. So in this particular kayak a good place to be able to mount your uh, magnetic mount would be right up under here which would still be accessible. You'd be able to mount it nicely and very securely up under here and probably still have plenty of room for your your firearm. Now of course you'd have to be careful with your feet when you got in and out of your kayak but that's just a small price you gotta pay. So what I'm actually gonna do here is strap this one down. So again, I just have this one strapped on because I really don't wanna drill holes in here right now. And again, this is not gonna be where it stays at. Now my concealed carry gun of choice is a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield uh, 9 millimeter. We actually really enjoy these guns. They're very concealable and it would work out just perfectly for this. Of course, I have checked it, safety checked it in here. There's no magazine, we're good to go. Okay, so here we go. We have this magnet mount actually strapped in under here. This happens to be a little cup holder spot, but we got it strapped up under here, and so it still has a little bit of a, a little bit of play. And of course, it would be stronger if we had uh, had it bolted down. The best way I think to come in here is like if you were sitting down in your kayak, or even before you went to sit down, if you had this guy brought him in here and let him pop up right to there, then you've got plenty of room for your left foot. You got plenty of room for your right foot, and at very easy access for that gun. And the cool thing is, even if you hit some bumps, she's not coming off of there. It's pretty strong. It takes a lot of force for me to actually get that guy down off of there. So here's what it looks like where my feet are on both sides of the paddle. And this is right up under here where I have that magnet mount uh, actually strapped in. And so what happens is I get in my boat, bring this guy right up under here. Oops. And there we go. He's magnetized up there. And the thing about it is right here too is it's actually getting magnetized through that, uh, through that strap too. And so then basically what it looks like from out here, there's your gun. And of course in a quick pinch if you had to, you just reach down there, grab a hold of her, bend it off there, withdraw it, take care of business. Okay, so now we're gonna, the other part that I thought would be a, a wonderful spot to conceal, uh, carry this handgun, would be right along uh, this side wall or the inner side wall. And so, in, and this is where I'm gonna put mine. And in order to do that, I'm going to line out a couple holes.
get your Smith and Wesson. You'd bring him under here and let him lock right up under under there. And there you are. Here we go. Have the Smith and Wesson have the MMP shield already tucked up underneath there. And with my knee all the way over, uh, it's it's not even hitting at all. I mean this you know nothing's coming in contact with the shake net. And I'm banging on the side, it's not dropping. Now I know there's gonna be some gun people that just about go ballistic because you know the gun is pointing down and they're thinking, you know, your legs there. But if you think about the the point of that gun, he's sitting right here, he's pointing right along from here, he's pointing let's see straight. So he's gonna actually end up going that direction. So he's actually not even pointed at my leg. Okay, so you're kayaking down river, like Trip said, you come upon some people not doing something they're supposed to be doing, they don't want you there, you're in a sticky situation. You just pull this leg up, reach under here for the Smith & Wesson, you got him popped out, ready to go. Okay, it's just, it's just that easy. Now, it, you may have seen it takes a little pressure to get him off there, but it's very easy to put back. So again, I'm paddling, what in the world are they doing there? They shouldn't be doing that. Oh, they don't want me here. I just move that leg, pop him right off, bring him right up, and I'm ready to go. Got that taken care of. Great little idea. These are just two places you might be able to put it. Um, now, the other thing we have to think about is what happens if I tip my kayak and I lose my gun. Well, number one, that's going to hang on to it pretty good. Is they're very strong magnets. But if you know if you're whitewater or something, you're hitting big rocks, well, you're in big trouble. But anyways, if you tip it, I believe it'll hang on to that gun. Uh, my second point I wanted to make to that is honestly, if don't don't take along a gun that that is like a, you know grandpa's hand-me-down gun or something that's an expensive one. Don't bring you a two thousand dollar nineteen eleven with you, you know, to carry in your kayak. You want to bring one that you're okay with losing, okay with getting scratched up, you know, or just whatever the case may be. So thanks for watching, guys. This is my voice uh, or my video response uh, to Trips video packing while you're yakking. Thanks for watching.